Welcome back to yet another Hen of Bricks YouTube video. And it's been such a long time since I've done a YouTube video, but I'm back with a Lego City update and it's awesome. We have recently got a load of new spare parts, which we are using to expand lots of buildings we wanted to um, expand or develop. So we've done that and I'm gonna be showing you everything that we've made changes to. The first building with improvements is of course, the Hen of Bricks Tower, the best building in the city. And we've made it taller. We've added a new floor to the tower, which has a camera crew filming the awesome Lego goat. However, the major improvement is at the supermarket at the base of the tower, where we've added this new set to the supermarket. So this is the new grocery store set that Lego have released this year. And I like it, but I think that it just doesn't work in my city. The road plate is just, I haven't got them in my city. And also I think it looks unfinished at the back. So we've used the pieces from this in our supermarket to make it much better. So I'm gonna take off the Henners Bricks Tower um, to show you the inside. So that's quite easy to take off there. And then also the nightclub floor. And then you can also detach the roof of the front roof of the supermarket and this supporting beam. Looking at the front of the supermarket, you can see some features I've kept from the set such as the carrot, the fresh sign, and the design of the windows. I've added many features from the set into my build, and there are some awesome minifigures like this man with the new prosthetic leg, and I love the new worker. And also, we have some awesome parts in here, like this corn on the cob piece, which is dual molded. And I also kept the storeroom out the back with the forklift truck. And here is the butcher's part of the shop. Another addition to the Lego city is this blue building in the retail area and it fits in really well behind the market building and it adds a bit of colour to this very colourless area. Taking a look at the building, you can see at the top we have a little spire and a clock and then some nice detail with lots of big windows and plants and a little doorman at the front. Inside the building we have a little reception area and some chairs and then upstairs we have a big gourmet meal and it looks amazing. And also the agent's tower has been made much taller. We have a floor at the top and an added floor as a base to the bottom. At the top, I made a sort of communications room with lots of tech and agent stuff. So you can lift the main tower off and this base to reveal the bottom, which has a big A on the floor, which is upside down and a desk and some plants. The agent's tower is looking much more impressive in the city. The raised tram has also seen some improvements as we've added a terminal to the end by the docks. We added a shelter similar to this one from the city square set. And there's also a bus shelter at the bottom so people can hop from the tram straight onto the bus. And a cool piece we found was this old policeman's top. So we used that to make a statue which is now out the front of the police station. And for some reason we had a load of two by two white bricks. So we decided to make a massive column in the city square. The city retail area is looking very impressive with the massive Henners Bricks Tower and Agents Tower looming over everything else. Does the Octan Tower need to be taller? Should we extend that as well? Anyway, we've made some great improvements to the Lego City and I know you're thinking, what am I gonna do now? Any more Henners Bricks videos? Well, why don't you go and check out some of my other videos on my channel? Bye.